This is Factorio. Your task is to launch a rocket into space. Do this by constructing a rocket silo and launching a rocket with a satellite. You will need to research advanced technologies in order to unlock the rocket silo, start small, work your way up with automation, and don't forget to protect yourself from the enemies. A fine and rousing speech for probably one of the most intellectually challenging games that I'm going to play for a while. Welcome to Factorio. My name is Oliver. We are going to build again because from my perspective this is the fourth time I've tried to do it. We're going to try and build a factory and this factory is going to help us launch a rocket into space and go home because the premise of this game is I have landed somewhere in the middle of nowhere and I want to get home. To do this I need to pick up some resources, I need to turn them into all sorts of things and from there the sky's literally the sky's the limit. So let's talk about some of the basics of the game. This is coal as it says. There's quite a lot of coal here, in fact the map tells me 627,000 pieces. This is what we need to make sure everything... Uh, I don't know, how should, I, how should we say it? We, it needs to... Yeah, you need to burn it to make sure everything gets power. And it looks like we have quite a lot of coal on this spawn, and we've got some water that could be useful in the future. This curiously silvery blue colour item here is iron ore. I will need a heck of a lot of that, probably more than the 685,000 that's here. There is another orange one to the north. That will be copper, I hope. I'm not going to walk all the way over to it because it's hidden under these tree, this tree line. I'm going to have to do a lot of tree mining as well. Let's get rid of a few of these things on the left hand side. These are some challenges from the last game I played that I'm currently trying, and I've just noticed that my burn this this is my factory this is my little mining thing that i've been given it has run out of power already so i'm going to take the power i'm going to take the coal it's mined which is seven units out of there and shove it back into there so excitement for the day i am going to have to build and produce some automated automated stuff in order to get some of this out of the ground and over here and it's gonna have to be big so these trees are gonna have to come down at some point uh, I need to formulate a plan I need to have another burner mining drill which means I need to have some iron gears which requires me to pull out some iron I've got, how many do I need I, I do get a, a notification don't I on on here this is this is what I'm going for the burner mining drill I need nine pieces of of what it says, it's, it's an iron plate, and I'm picking up iron ore at this precise moment. So what I need to do is build a smeltery, and I'm going to do that in a moment. And I need to, and I'm all I'm doing, I'm waffling at the moment, but I am trying to work out in my mind where I'm going to set my smeltery up, because that is going to be very important in the future. Because I need it to be as close to here as possible, I expect. Uh, let's just put some of that in there and I need it to not be that far away too because if I have them too far away then they're gonna yeah initially it'll be horrible if they're too far away I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take down a few of these trees and then I'm going to set up a burner furnace this thing the stone furnace here and I've done it in a very weird looking place and I will go into that one later and I'm going to then put oh I've got some iron plate from somewhere already so I'm going to burn some of this and I only need how many did I say I needed is it five no I said I said I needed nine it said I needed nine that's why I mined nine so there we go that's my nine so let's build another one of these these burner mining drills sweet now then, I'm going to put this down here, and I'm going to do pretty much the same as I did last time. I am going to put down another wooden chest. 
So, this is going to see my... Ooh, hang on a second. Let's move this out of the way. Um, yes. Plans for the future starting already. I need to get a lot of, of uh, iron out of the ground and I need to get a lot of coal as well. And I need to start, this is a lot of ands, planning getting the coal up towards these drills. So then I can just go, I'm going to go mad and I will show you why. So this is what we're going to do. Um, I am going to try and see if I can, <coughs> excuse me, I'm losing my voice already. I'm going to see if I can't make a collection of transport belts to move this iron that we have here. I've got 13 of them. I need to just stop production for a moment. And I'm going to make one of these, which is an inserter. And for it, I need some iron. Uh, well, I've got the iron, but I need copper. So, I need to put this down again. And I'm going to put it there. What? Can it be smelted? Yeah, okay, fine. I know it can't be smelted. So let's put some of that in there. You can see how this is going to take a long time. But this is where automation comes in, because that's going to help us in a great deal. I've got this wonderful little thing. I can, I'll bring it up in a moment. Uh, if I press P, these are what I'm producing. So as you can see, 16 coal a minute. That's what I'm producing, and I'm using a lot less than that, aren't I? I'm only using two coal a minute. That is going to rise. Now I'm looking for some copper, and I saw some copper before, but I've just seen on my minimap, there's this bit here, which is that little bit closer, and it's that whole lot bigger, 885,000 of them. And I'm going to put a mine, I'm going to put a burner miner down here as well at some point, but just not at this early stage. So this is a basic gist of well, if I say this is the basic gist of Factorio, you ain't seen nothing yet. I've not sold the game yet because I haven't particularly taken off. Um, but in the future, we will, and it's going to go mad, and it's going to be great. So, what do I need? I've run out of coal in my burner, so I'm going to build one of these. Oh, my apologies, I didn't need any co I didn't need copper. Oh, I'm building the wrong one, I'm an idiot. Okay, so uh, all I need is... Yeah, okay, so that makes things a lot more interesting. All I need is um Oh right, okay. Cool. So I don't quite know what it's doing, but it seems to be pulling coal out of the miner. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Oh, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. <laughs> ah, okay. Crazy me. That way. That's how you do it. So, uh, with everything that I've done, now totally off... Th oh. I am going to start trying to see if I can't auto-smelt some of these items. And to do this, I need to once again move this. I'm going to smelt some of the iron, and I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to pick up some of what's come out of here, because I'm going to need a heck of a lot of coal. Put some of you in there, and the rest of you, you're coming with me. So my burner is already going a little bit mad, as you can see. Um, I need to move it a little bit closer, so once it's run out of fuel, that'll be swell. The miner it will stop mining as soon as the belt is full. I can't help that at the moment. It is just a small problem that I am pulling out more stuff than I can... There we go, that's what I wanted to see. So, I'm going to build some more belts. As you can see here, I require a bit of 
cold through that. And I'm going to stop there for now, and I'm going to place another row of belts there, and my furnace there. Now, why, I hear you ask? And that's a good question, and I don't know at the moment. I'll just let the map save. So I'm going to manually pull this lot out of here and put that into there along with some of my stone and then I'm going to put some stuff there. So I'm just thinking aloud to myself, I need to do some research now which is going to... so everything that I'm doing at this precise moment is a little bit um, crazy. So let me, if I may, oh no not that one, rotate that piece like so and place a piece there and pick that one up there and then I'm going to put a I'm going to put an inserter there and an inserter there and hopefully it's place, facing the right direction this is going to pull stuff out of here assuming I power it there and this is going to put stuff into there and then they'll come out here now I'll take this tree down and there you'll see them so I need to do a few th I need to do a few extra things now the first thing I need to do <coughs> is produce a pump, an offshore pump, like so, and a boiler. Not too hard. Not too hard at all. And then this is going to continue doing what it needs to do, pulling stuff around, and you as well. In fact, you're going to stop in a moment, aren't you? So everything you've got at this precise moment is major, major ghetto. It's not laid out any way that I want it to be laid out, um, and I'm not too happy with it. So what have I got? I've got an offshore pump, I've got a boiler, and I need a steam engine, which needs a shed load more stuff. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put down a second stone furnace, and I'm going to place it there. And then I'll make some more... Uh, come along. I'm going to make some more of these tracks and a few more inserters which I can't make at the moment there we go and you're going to insert into there and you're going to insert into there and I have need to get some coal because I've used it all where am I going? over here oh you're alright, you're going to last forever on that pretty much so we've now got 57 I've got a stack of coal and a little bit extra. And this is where we're going to see I'm going to start producing oh hello. I'm going to start producing more iron than my system can pull out. And this is good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to produce one of these. No, I'm not. I'm going to produce one of those. Which is a steam engine. What's going off here? What are you doing? Thank you. Let's put that in there. So this is now going to pull stuff out onto my belt. While it's doing that, I am going to... Well, I'm not going to do anything at the moment. I need 31, I've got 18. Um, so as you can see, my automation is going rather well at this precise moment. I'm thrilled with it. I can build my steam engine. I... I'm going to go down here to the south, and to the south there is a large expanse of water. This is going to be very useful for my pump. There we go. I'm going to produce one pipe, because that's all I can at the moment. And I'm going to do some ghosting, as they call it, which is where I hold down shift and I pull everything I need to upwards, because I haven't got... Oh, too far. I haven't got, at this precise moment, anywhere near the materials to build this. And then I'm going to take my pump, which we level with my coal factory, and then I'll place it there. That's going to create steam, which will come out here, and then eventually... Why can't I rotate this? 
that's going to come out here and up here to a steam engine. Not just one. But hopefully... What? Have I done something wrong? No. Yes. Something a little bit like this. This is going to produce a shed load of power as soon as I built it, and I'm going to go over it. Oh boy, look at this, my mind stopped producing. These are some of the things that happen during the game, so welcome to Factorio. This isn't going to work, is it? I need to... Um... Huh? What the... I need to do some planning, planning, further planning on these bits and pieces because this isn't going to work. Because various things which I haven't explained very well. So let's put some more. So let's put our first. <coughs> I am losing my voice. <coughs> this is horrible. Let's put my first uh, steam engine down. There it is. It's going to complain that there's no power. Um, it is well within its right to complain that there is no power, because there isn't. Um, and then I'm going to use the rest of my iron to make pipes. And I'm going to jump all the way down here, and I'm no way am I going to do this in 19 pipes. I'm going to press the ALT button. I hope that will allow me to see... There we go. The ALT button will now enable me to see what I've got in my pipes. So as you can see here it says water's coming up the pipes. It also says I've got um, copper in my... Uh, no it's not, it's iron in my stone furnaces. Um, so this is, this is almost the basics of automation. What we're going to see at this precise moment is electricity being produced and electricity is a very important part of everything we're going to do later on. It also notifies me here that these require steam, this requires water, we are going to make water, no we're not going to make water, we're going to take water. And whilst I need some of this down here I'm just going to build a few extra uh, of track belts. Um, there are a few things that I need to change with regards to what I have here, and I'm going to do it later. At this precise moment, some energy is required, and that's my top priority. Now, I could have built all this lot a lot closer to everything else, but to be fair, this is quite big. It's already... In fact, I think... I may have to move it already, because it's going to be in the way. I can rotate this without picking it up. I tell you what, let's move it down here. If I place it there, it's it will connect straight up and start producing steam. As soon as I put some water in it. So as soon as I put some coal in it. Let's go over to here and pick up half a stack of my coal and mosey on over here, and place it in there. Uh, like so. So that's going to produce some steam. I'm going to pick this up, and I'm going to move it over here. I'm going to place it here, because I can. And the rest of them I'll ghost around it in a m Well, no, actually. Tell you what. This is where I'm going to put the first one. I need to place a gap between them. Otherwise, I can't place the electricity pylons, which I need to place. Aside from that, everything seems alright. Let's 
excuse for this, excuse the silence for a moment while I just fill all this lot in. So it's now notifying me there's a few trees in the way, and I'm in the way for this one. So there I have everything I need down, so let's just get rid of all this. Beautiful. Um, and I need some... How much more pipe work do I need? Not much, by the looks of it. Um... Two, three, four, one more. So, this is going to allow me to generate some energy. There we go. It has no performance at the moment because there's nothing coming in. So, let's produce some small power cables. There should be quite a lot of them there. That should be ten. That's taken up my entire tree capacity at this precise moment. If I place one here. Now, note the coloured squares. The blue area denotes where power can be distributed from this cable. If it doesn't have the line between them, there is no power going between pole to pole. Like that, for example, there's no power there and there's power there. I'm going to place it there. I don't need to place it there for the moment, for the time being, but Things are going to get a little bit more interesting in a moment. I am going to open up my inventory and I'm going to go to here and I need one of these, a lab. And the lab requires me to have some copper. So everything that I have up here, I'm going to duplicate in my copper patch down below. In fact, because it's not doing anything, I'm going to take this with me simply because I can. Uh, and I need to work out what I need before I get there, which is one burner mining drill and a few pieces of of belt. For now, anyway, that's all going to change in the future when we go up market. I need a stack of coal. I'm going to, well, since I've got two stacks of coal, I'm going to fill you right up. And then I'm going to go off on a wander. In fact, I have a change of plan because there's this piece of coal, there's this piece of copper right here. And it's not necessarily big because it's only got 94,000, but at this precise moment in time, I don't need the hugest amount of, co of copper um, this side of the universe. All I need is enough to make a lab. So let's see what I can do. And I can do a little bit of a, um, a cheat, I think. What I'm going to do is this. I'm going to place my burner mining drill there, and it's going to complain of no, uh, no fuel. I am fairly confident I picked up the furnace. Did I use it in the creation of that? I think... I think yeah, creating one of those uses makes a uses a stone furnace, so that's where the stone furnace disappeared to. I am under the impression that if I put the stone furnace here, right on the output of this, it will go straight into there. And then I'm going to put a chest there, and then my output. What's it? Let's try this out. A 25 stack in this burner mining drill, and a 25 stack in the stone furnace, at doing exactly as I anticipated. How much do I need to build a lab? I need 15 pieces of copper. That's not going to take too long. And I need 30-something odd pieces of iron. That's not going to take too long either. And there's a reason for this. And we're going to go into it very shortly. Also, I think I'm going to invest in... You will notice that when I have the inserter, there is another inserter next to it. There's this burner inserter, and there's one without a name. And the difference between them is one is electric. The one with the burner one, by the by design, the burner inserter takes fuel. The burner uh, mining drill takes fuel. The inserter itself does not take fuel. It takes electricity from a nearby pylon. Placing it here will show a little sign saying it's not getting any energy, which is fine. All I have to do is place down an electrical pylon close enough to it. In fact, 
in this case right on top of it. And one thing you'll notice straight away is they are a lot faster than their uh, their their um, coal powered siblings. So this could be very interesting in the future. So this is going to shove stuff into this iron chest. So that means this belt's not going to fill up until the chest is filled up. And now you can see this is this is how things are just going to pan out for the future. Going back down here, I th I'm going to make an assumption that I haven't got enough to build the lab. I haven't. I have now. The lab requires um, electricity to run, which is why I've spent time now setting up this electricity. It also requires a few other things as well. But we'll go into that in a moment. The lab allows us to do research. As it says in the top right hand corner, press T to start a new research. This new research requires a lab to do it, or a collection of labs. And we are going to work our way through a few of these to start off with. The first one on our list is this one, automation, which allows us, it's going to take 10 of these science pack ones, which I haven't explained yet, so don't worry, and it's going to allow us to create uh, well, it's going to, once we've researched it, it will allow us to create these two items, the assembling machine one and the long-handed inserter, which is something I needed very much. So the um, unfortunately, the game pauses when you open up the research screen, so the um, lab's taking a little bit longer than necessary. So I've placed it up. Now the screen's come up straight away, as I didn't remember it did. I now need to create some of the research potions. Here they are. They require an iron gear wheel and some copper plates, and I need ten of them. So, iron gears are made simply by taking iron plates. And I do have a recipe for them. I do. There we go. Ten. Then I go over here somewhere. Let's zoom out a little bit, and I take some of that. Oh, I can create 30 now, so I'm going to just go... Ooh, not 30. No, don't want 30. Make 10. There are a few techniques and tip, tips, tricks, and techniques that I'm going to go into with these, but I'm going to save them for later. So here we go. We'll put some of our science packs. So there's, there are, as you can see here, what is it? Seven different types of these um, packs we can research things we can make science packs one two and three the military science the production science uh, space science and high-tech science um the latter five we probably won't be looking at for quite some time and as you'll notice we need to, we need to research those before we can create them what i'm more interested in now is getting everything else sorted out this burner inserter is run out of fuel. There's no point in putting new fuel into it. I may as well just replace it with an electric inserter. Let's remove that pylon. And... I'm just going to reorganize some of these pylons so it looks a little bit cuter. Oops, no, not placing that one there. There. I'm going to leave it like that, because I'm, I'm bored now. So that's going to generate... The, if you put too many pylons close together, they all connect to each other in odd ways, and it... It, it just looks odd. So... Uh, so research and automation is almost complete. So once we've got automation, things are going to look a little bit more interesting. And I'm going to make a few changes before I go on from here. First of all, I don't require this anymore. For now. Anyway, things will change in the future. Oh, no, my apologies. I haven't put all of my research vials into the lab. I'm going to open up this, the blueprint library. I'm going to change what this looks like to start off with beforehand, however. I'm going to take out that there. I'm going to place one, two, three... Yeah, three... I'm going to then move the... I would very much like this inserter, burner inserter, not to be there. And I'm going to move this um, electrical pole there. So here we go. Automation researched. And it allows me to create one of these. The long-handed inserter. And I'm going to create one of these. 
I'm going to place it here. Now what this allows me to do is pull things off this belt at the top here and then put them into here. This has run out of fuel. That's probably why it's stopped. Um, and I'm going to put another belt here, although I don't need it. And I'm going to put a belt there. Now I'm going to bring up the blueprint library and I'm going to go into, I'm going to create a new blueprint and close that down. I'm going to select this lot and I'm not actually a change of plan. Um, this is, I want this to be out of the way, out of the way. Yeah. Okay. So I am now going to take this. Ah, uh, no. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to make a blueprint of it for a start. This will be a partial uh, furnace rig. And I think for the purpose of what I'm going to do, I need to make some alterations. I'm going to take that out of here. I'm going to replace the long-handed inserter there and the short-handed inserter there, just so I can get rid of that tile there. But otherwise, once things go into full-scale automation, that tile is going to be in the way. This, however, will not affect, I hope, what the blueprint looks like. So let's put the blueprint down. The only thing it does affect is that tile there, which needs rotating. But aside from that, that looks pretty good. I am pleased of how that as to how that looks. I don't need to do anything with it at this precise moment, but I am going to in the future. In fact, one thing I might do is because of the way the blueprint's a little bit jiggered, I'm going to place and it's gonna look weird to start off with that. An S bend. Um I don't need to. I'm now gonna delete this blueprint. I'm going to create a new one based on what I just created. Oh, I, you know. Let's put that back in and then do it. So that's what I want to create. Lovely. So that is my partial furnace rig completed. And I need to just... I can set up whatever pictures I like on here. It doesn't it doesn't matter. It just gives me a little identification on the hotbar as to what it is. I'm going to take that one out because I don't need it anymore. And I'm probably going to take all this lot out too because I don't need those either. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now, I am going to use quite a lot of this iron because I need to pull some power through. As you can see, I have well, I have some um, I do. I have some coal in here, but I need, eventually I'm going to run out. So what I need to do is pull the coal out of this chest. And I'm going to do that with an inserter and a collection of these transport belts. And, I, and I'm not at this precise moment fully utilizing my ability to uh, automate my apologies, but bear with me. I'm then going to run around all this gump to here and then build another inserter. There we go. And probably a few more power couplings. Now I need something there. I didn't place it, I was too far away. This is why I've got these gaps here, by the way, so I can now just go... Is there a gap there? There is, yes. Yeah, so I can go power, 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 power. A few more. Um, power, power. Now, this burner mining drill is pulling stuff into this wooden chest. The wooden chest has 220 pieces of coal in it. The inserter is now going to pull the coal out of 
the chest onto the belt. The belt's going to pull the coal down to the waiting boiler. The boiler is then not going to do anything with it because it doesn't require any coal at this precise moment. It has more than it thinks is enough. Um, but when it gets low, it will start adding some coal in. Aside from that, we are going to do some more research. But before I do that, I need to do a few additional pieces of housekeeping. One thing that would be quite useful is if I could pull this coal down here to this uh, system down here, or replace this entire monstrosity with something more electric, which is a doable thing. At this precise moment, I am not going to do anything of the sort. What I am going to do, however, is create one of these. These are assembling machines. This is the first tier assembling machine. I have no idea where I'm going to put this at this precise moment, because if I put it in the wrong place, I will scupper what I want to do up here, because this is going to just go upscale very quick. In fact, probably what I should do is use the blueprint to work out exactly what this is going to look like. So I'm going to put another one there, another one there, so I'm going to put... It's going to be five wide. That's my plan anyway, and it's going to be three deep. Now, I, the, the useful thing about this is I don't need to... Oh, I've run out of pick. I don't need to have the whole thing designed straight away. So I'm four in and iron is going this way. So chances are iron is going to end up coming down here. And ending about here. So let's put this let's put this in, shall we? Um, I missed it. So I just need to move this. So I'm going to pick up all the iron, which will be quite useful because I need it. And I'm going to put my inserter back down here. And these pylons, just like these trees, are going to be in the way. So we will do something about those in the not-too-distant future. What am I doing? I am creating things for the Felix Fick... Ficked... Lab. To assist in the creation of what I require, I need to build science pack ones which require iron gear wheels and i have this strange feeling that i'm going to require a heck of a lot of iron gear wheels from now into the future so i'm going to make an alteration to what i have here i'm going to place down in fact i'm going to create three of my best assembling machines. They're going to take a bit of time to assemble. And here we go. First up, place one assembling machine there, and then I'll place another one right next to it. Right, not that right next to it. I need a tile between them for to place my power. Power is always an important thing. So the first assembling machine I want to create gears, the second assembling machine I want to create gears, but not necessarily straight away. So bear with me again whilst I do this. I'm going to place down two, well I'm going to place down one insert to start off with, 
there. I'm then going to create some track. I'm going to do that. I'm going to rotate this round like so. So it'll just... So some of it will go into there and some of it won't. I'm not going to feel sorry for that armature because it's just going to try and pull. Now, this is an interesting thing. This assembling machine will pull out items until it can create gears. It will then leave them there and it will now no longer be able to pull them out and it will just sort of stack up. So this armature is going to get a little bit mad. But we're going to, we will fix that in the future. Once again, place down uh, an inserter. And inserters can do e extractions as well. It's not just in, they, they are called inserters by name, but they're not inserters by nature. I'm going to then place down a third assembling machine, tier one. And I'm going to pull some power down to that too. I'm also going to build some inserters. I'm going to need a few more inserters than this, but I'll build those later. And I'm going to put an inserter there. Then I am going to make an inserter there and make an iron chest. Place the iron chest there. The iron chests are, are bigger to the tune of double the size of the original wooden chest that you get. If I go down here, I'm probably going to be out of power. Oh, more out of power than I imagined. So let's go down here. Let's put some power into this. I suppose one thing that could be a wise thing to do would be to pull power down. Uh, let's see, we've well, got 98 in there, it's, so yeah, okay, okay, let's just, I need them and I need them now, so let's pull them out of there. So, let's go back up here. My mine has run out of electricity, it's run out of, oh, oh, forgot to bring some with me. This is, this is going to set the tone for quite a bit of what's going to happen, but fortunately, everything that I'm doing is gearing up against this happening in the future. And I will show you why in a moment, because it's this thing right here, the electric mining drill. I'm going to build one, because I can. Um, okay, so that is my smeltery, smelting everything. Uh, it's producing gears. Here are the gears. I want some more iron, please. Plenty in here, thank you. I'm going to produce a few transport belts. Pull those across to here. And then it's going to pick those up and put them into here. And I'm going to put... And eventually what will happen is the iron gear... Oh no, the iron gears and the copper will form... Yes, science pack ones, and this will fill up. Now, there is a slight problem. The way that factor... Well, it's a, recorded a slight problem. It's not actually a problem. It's just the, a weird thing in the... You, you notice the, the stacking mechanism behind the game. It throws a few curveballs every now and then. You'll notice the iron stacks to like 50 items per stack. Um, the stuff... The, the plates... Oh, sorry, the coal stacks to 50. The... Um, iron plates stack to a hundred. Things like, we'll see in the future, there are other things that stack to tens and things like that. But for some strange reason, the research files, these science packs, stack to 200. That means that because I've got 24, haven't I? I've got 24 spaces inside here. Um, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24... 26, 28, 30, I've got 32, my apologies. This means I'm going to make 6,400 pieces of... That's right, isn't it? Well, whatever it is, you, you count all this lot. 2, 4, 6, uh, there's 10 across the top. There's, yeah, there's 32 of them. So I'm going to make 6,400 vials before this place fills up. That's a lot of vials. So, yeah, you can imagine just the the horror that is. So we are going to create a hell of a lot of these eventually, and we're going to fill up this iron chest. So I'm going to put some of these manually into here for now, and then I'm going to go into the research. Uh, because I am looking for something rather particular to build. 
and I can't remember what it is. Um, yeah, that's a worry. Oh, no, I know what it is. It's logistics, because I want, if I may, this. Yes, that's going to take 20 of them. Faster and more flexible ways of transportation. That's exactly what I want, because of these two. This is the underground belt. The belt allows you to... The, the underground belt allows you to move things under other items, which is very useful. And you'll see also something called a splitter. That, too, is very useful for... <coughs> splitting tracks. At this point, I'm going to take my electric mining drill and place it here. It's going to complain that I have no power. That's fine. Now you do. No, you don't. <laughs> now you do. And that's going to create more... <laughs> that's going to create more iron ore. And that's going to push my consumption up here to a quite a new level. How's my research doing? I've got seven vials left, I need 20 of them. So let's put a few more into there. This is going to run until this runs out of power up here. No, sorry, this is going to run until either I run out of items to pull out the ground here, or just the patch runs out and runs dry, which will happen eventually. I mean, it's got four, uh, 684 in it at the moment. It's not going to happen anytime soon. But eventually, it will. We, will... we will mine it dry, and we will have to go on somewhere else. By then, however, this factory will be amazing, and it will be huge, and we'll probably have trains, and we'll be able to go, I don't know, all the way over here and pull some items out from up here. This map is huge, by the way. You see, there's some iron over here. There's 80, 88,000. I'm not even sure if that's the size that that is. It may generate some more. Also, there's some small deposits of coal over here. I'm looking constantly for little dots of purple, and I haven't seen any yet. One thing I've learned from my last run-through of this game is don't push everything... Don't put everything into a very small space. Build flamboyantly sized places. I'm going to build a few more electric... Oh, crap. Yes, I'm going to f build a few more electric mining drills because I kind of need to. Why have I ran out of power? Why? Shouldn't you be... Oh, you're the wrong way round! <laughs> Yeah, by the way, always, if you're ever going to play this game, always keep an eye on the direction that arrows are facing, the arrow points in the direction that items are going to move. If it's not pointing in that direction, it will not move in that direction. So, I've got enough stuff to build one mining drill. I need a bit more than that. That would be... I need... I need... I also need to... I, I may put the... Um, yeah, alright, I might put the um, mining drill on hold for a brief moment whilst I work on extending this little mining area because I want a lot more... One of the things you're going to run out of very quickly is iron. This is why this space is going to be built so big. Whoops. Um, yes, okay. So I do need one there, but I didn't need to put it in straight straight away. I need the electrical pole. Go. Oh. There. And I probably didn't need it, actually. Two of those and one of those. And another one of those. Because it will use the one of the inserters to create that. That's not the right way around that way. And that. And that. So it's all going from top down. Ultimately, one of these. So I need some stone. I can't pull any stone out of the ground at the moment because I haven't put 
and then I haven't put a mining rig on it. So that's going to be another thing in the future. Ooh. Okay, here we go. So, m looking at my logistics, it's nearly complete. Then, things are going to go mad. Things are going to go insane. You are going to see things that you never thought were possible, and I'm massively hyping this to a degree beyond what it actually is. I want to move quite a lot of stuff. I want to move coal into here. I want even more iron than I have. Therefore, I am going to build yet more mining drills. I am going to go insane with mining drills. In fact, I probably don't need to. Tell you what, let's go mad with belts. One, two, uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, yeah. Then I need a long-handed whatnot, and I think I've already got a short one. Oh no, I had. I haven't now because I used it in creating the long-handed whatnot. And then probably more stone. I desperately need to automate the stone because I'm going to need some in the future. I, I've been playing my first game. I should show you the first game. I haven't automated stone still. And it is crazy. Let's build one of these and put it down here. So we're now going to produce three times as well. Good gracious, not again. I'm going to run down here and create some, get some more of this crap. Speaking of crap, what the... There. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? Okay, so let's put some coal into... How are these doing? You're the one I worry about. There we go. <clears throat> but not for much longer, because what I want to do is the following. I'm going to build one of these, and one of those. And when I say one, it's going to build a pair of them. So what we're going to do is down here, you can see I've got this little kinky bit. I'm going to place a splitter next to it. Splitters are one-to-one -one changer of objects, and I've ran out of iron, I need more iron. If you have um, a belt that's coming through, every single item that travels across the belt gets split into two, and one goes down one side, and the rest goes down the other. And then I'm going to use one of these, that's going to travel under there. There is a limitation to the, um, the length that... Um, pipes uh, that, that transport belts can travel underground and it's quite pitiful but fortunately it makes up for the fact that if you have about 20 or 30 all converging on the same point they will all just sort of it's not like the London Underground where you have to worry about oh I've gone too far I may collide with the science factory too oh my apologies for anyone wearing headphones because I've just hit my microphone stand let's rotate this around Hello. Thank you. So let's get some more iron. So here's a here's a giggly little thing. Look at all this lot I'm getting. So let's make a crud ton of these. Now because it's gone all dark, can't quite see what's going on very well. So as you can see here, I've now got enough iron being produced. Well, I actually have created enough um, gears for the system not to want to create any more gears for the creation of science packs. So that's fine. But what I'm doing is I'm creating enough iron here to pull into this chest. So I've got, and I've got enough requirements for me to keep pulling it out forever. I'm just going to make a huge 
conveyor line through this tree line up to here and turn left. Now, this is where things start getting fun because if you haven't worked it out yet, let me let me explain it in words of very excite, excitable talk. The coal gets split from the mine over here, which has run out of power. Achoo! Um, um, dip, dip, um, dip. Ah, need more. As you can see now, the, the nature of me requiring to wait for stuff to happen is starting to disappear. Because, just look at how much stuff I have. Oh, I can build two. <laughs> if, why build one when you can build two? Um, electric, what's it? There. Ooh, is that, that's too close, isn't it? Yes. Let's put... No, no, let's... Yeah, alright, whatever. We'll put... We'll put it there. <laughs> so that's going to now take power. I'm going to take note of how much... The, the performance on these steam engines show you just how much... I've just realised what I've done here. This looks stupid. This belt's going to have to move at some point, isn't it? Because I can't get my steam... Pa I can't get the steam pipes to these areas. <laughs> what a divot I am. Um... But if you take a little look at what it says, it says performance 7 out of 30 per second. If that it's, hits 30, it means I'm pulling more power than I can produce and something's going to give. Um, so at this precise moment, I'm quite comfortable in my power usage. Um, what's next on my list of things I want to do? Yes, I did say I wanted to construct something to pull a shed load of stone out of the ground. So I'm going to place my mining drill, my electric mining drill here, and a mm, inserter and some iron to make an iron chest, and I'll place the iron chest down here, and I will put the inserter next to it, and then I will create some electrical cables for to pull the power there that's hitting the miner the miner is now pulling got 10,000 bits of stone under there and it's getting that one as well one thing I can do now is I could build another electric mining drill and place it for example once it's done I don't know there there. Belt it up. Uh, power it up. And now I'm going to produce a whole lot of stone. How am I doing on the on the front of the something's got, oh no, I know what I've done. I've ran out of copper. And the copper's down here. The copper's not doing very well at all. So, I think it's about time. This is going to be the last thing I do before I end this video, because I was trying to make it an hour long. I don't care how long this video is, actually, to be fair. I'm having a lot more fun this time than I had before. I haven't even gone into explaining anything about the video. I've just done... I'm... Uh, why I like this game. I do love the game. It's fun. What do I need to make another electric mine? Oh, that. Okay, fine, done. Okay, and then I need to create some... Of these, do I need some inserters? I think I'm using. Yeah, I'm going to make some. Who cares? Let's just run all the way. In fact, what I should do is create the power lines as I go along. There is an advanced form of power that I haven't got yet. Yeah. Nope. There, I'm off by one line. Now, notice I'm trying to space these out as far as possible. The smallest amount. I don't need. I need the smallest amount of items possible to get. Over, I don't actually, but it makes me feel a lot better if I use the least amount of resources. I can, in the future, change it. However, one thing I'm going to do, however, 
I'm going to place my electric mining drill, if I can find it, here. And it's going to complain of no power, because it, it will. I'm then going to immediately run a belt. And I'm going to place power line there. Oh, there, <laughs> not there. And then I'm going to pull, I've run out already. So here we go, the iron, uh, the, the copper ore is now running up this belt. That is pretty neat. And I'm going to wait for the new belts to be produced. We I've run out. I'm going to stop here. <laughs> I am going to... I have no reason, it's just a random arbitrary stop. I'm going to... I'm going to go over to my uh, iron chest here. I'm going to pull out a stack of a hundred pieces of iron plate. And I'm going to make a splitter. Like so. No, not you. I've just set my Alexa off. Sorry, I'm not sure. That's all right. Don't worry. It's been a long day, hasn't it? Um, I'm going to place down <laughs> my um. I'm going to place down my in, my burner, my stone furnace here. I'm going to place down some. What am I doing? I've lost my brain. Come on, brain. This is not helping, this this pipe work, because this is going to hinder even more all this. That may be something I'll have to do off camera, or I may just do it, you know, super speed and then time lapse it in. Uh, what, uh, yep, yep, there. So what this is going to do... Uh, just, yeah, there. What, what this is going to do is exactly what I was doing down here, only up here. Um, I need to use my splitter. I don't know why I've made two of them, but I have. I'm going to do this in reverse. I'm going to pull the wiring. I'm going to pull the transport belt up to meet the waiting splitter here. There we go. So the coal's going to come down to this burner. I'm then going to produce a long arm. Lovely. Pulling that way. Did I put two down here? No, I put one down. That's all right. So as you can see now, this is going pretty neat. Um, the coal is being split. So th it, this is where it's being mined. It's being mined over here. I've got 16,000 more on that mining area. The mining area is quite large. I should move the belt, to be fair, because there's a little bit there in the top that doesn't have anything. If I place it further down, it would have more. It just means that we're going to have to move that one sooner than I anticipated. But, yeah, I'll let it run the 16k and then move it. So 16k is quite a lot. It's going to be there for quite some time. Um, it's pulling it across into this into this belt. It gets this splitter. It goes off here so I can make some copper. It then runs off into here so I can pull my uh, boiler. And then it runs off to the iron plant, which is looking a lot bigger. So, I think the last thing I'm going to do before I stop this video is pull my iron up here. First things first, two inserter arms. Are they f both facing the right direction? They are, yes. One's going to not get any power because there's not enough cabling to go around. Ooh, hang on. Place it there. Uh, ooh, look at that. I've made a circle. It's a good job that doesn't uh, short out the grid, you know. And I'm going to put the iron chest there. I'm going to create a splitter here and I need to create an underground belt. Sorry, my bad. I don't. What I need to do, however, is create a crud load of iron. As you can see at this precise moment I am creating so much iron I can't do anything, I can't do 
enough with it. This is going to change, and it is going to change rapidly. There will become a time by which I will be so desperate for iron that you will not believe. And I'm going to pull this through this cable up here. It's a belt, actually. And I'm going to spin it. Oh, ooh, up there. So what's going to happen is all of all the uh, ooh, <laughs> not much of it is there. All the iron that I've, all the copper I've created is going to come up this line here. Now I am producing a shed load of this. Um, I should perhaps be using the blueprint, but I don't think the blueprint will work in this situation, will it? No, the blueprint won't work because all of the belts are in weird places. So I'm just going to have to do it manually. Do it live! I did say that last thing that I did, that putting the copper in there was the last thing I was going to do. I lied. Um, let's make another stone furnace. Stone furnaces, they they, we, they will stay with us for a while. Um, you need some... Oh, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I've created too many. Oh, can I take that one off my process list? Stop it! Thank you. Oh yes, incidentally, if you create too many of an item, you can take it off your processing list. That is a thing. So, what I'm going to do is that. One hopes, and then put a cable in, like so. Look at that, look at that, I am now produ- what's going off here? I've rotated something. There we go. Look at that, I've now got two of these producing a lot of that. I think I'm going to leave that there. Thank you very much. This has been Factorio. I haven't explained half the stuff I want to explain, but I've just been having a riotous time doing all this sort of stuff. Um, if you've enjoyed as much as I have doing all this lot, you can drop me a like on the video. Uh, if you want to, you can subscribe to my channel. Um, it would help dearly. I don't bite much. Um, and it will show me you appreciate what I do. I love this game. Um, it can be a little bit boring at times, I will admit. Especially if I'm trying to concentrate too much. You'll have to bear with me on that front. <laughs> Let me just double check everything's working here. So one thing that should be happening now is... Ooh. Oh, you know what I've done. You know when I said I lied? I lied again, because I hadn't actually set it all up properly. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> I, I did say I was going to stop the video when I when I got these this automation thing finished, and I did say I'd lied because I was doing stuff bef after I'd finished it, and now I have. It's complicated, it's fun, it's just wacky, it's how I roll. Um, so yes. I'm g yeah, I am going to leave it there. Everything that I've said applies. Thank you very much once again for watching. And this is going to just get a lot bigger. You notice I've moved this down here by two units. I'm going to move... I'm actually, I think, going to just move the splitter. I've gone Newcastle. One thing I can do is this. And then point that that way. So hopefully what will happen will be if I just... Now, is that just going down? It's got one on it at the moment. If I press R on this, I can rotate it. Not that way, that way. That will get picked up eventually, I'm sure. By me, now. Cool. So, as I use coal, that's going to go down. I'm going to free that up. I could move the splitter down even further. Uh, that's going to... I've, I've got enough space, haven't I? Can I not... No, I can't. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to think about this one while the game is paused... Uh, all that remains for me to say, therefore, 
is I, I guess it's the third time I've said it. Thank you very much for watching, and join me the next time I play Factorio. And until then, bye for now.